Hello and welcome to Maths Games at Home. Today's game is going to be um, using ordinal numbers. So ordinal numbers are when we um, talk about, I think that my best example is when you think about a race. And in a race, you don't come one or two, you come first or second. So it's those words like first and second. And here we have some mugs. Now this is, I'm trying to make sure they're all in there. And they're gonna be part of our game. So um, we have, I think we've got to do it this way because of people watching. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. You have a go now, youngest son. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now when you're writing down ordinal numbers, you write them down, and you're gonna do some of these for me now. You can do it over there. I'll just show the camera what I mean. When you're writing down, um, we, we write little letters with them. So instead of just writing number one, let's see if this is actually showing up today. Yes, it is. We're gonna write one and then an ST to remind ourselves that we say first, which looks like that. First. And then we have second, which will have an ND. Second. And then we have third, third. Then after that, it gets a bit more simple because we start to say fourth and fifth and so on. And those, um, that TH for fourth and fifth, that pattern carries on all the way up to 10th. Um, right, right, we're ready. We've got all our cards here now, starting from first and going all the way up to 10th. Now I'm going to ask, what I'm gonna do with the cards is I'm gonna shuffle them so that they're all in a random order. Let me introduce another player. We don't have my oldest son today, but we do have, what did we say his name was? Bob. We've got Bob here, um, who's obviously a puppet, and he's gonna have a go at playing this game first. Bob has to go out of the room at the moment whilst we hide, he's not allowed to peek, whilst we hide our treasure, which is this lovely painted pebble, underneath one of our mugs. So, my youngest son, you can choose where to put the treasure. Be careful, because it's on a table, we don't want to knock the mug over. So can you tell me, whilst, he, whilst um, Bob is out the room and he can't hear? Sixth. It's the sixth mug. Now, this is how the game is played. Bob comes along. Are you ready, Bob? You're yeah, ready. Okay, so Bob, you pick the first card from our shuffled pack and you see what it says. What does it say, Bob? Can you read it? Oh, it says fourth. Yes, it does say fourth. So you try the fourth mug like this. First, second, third, fourth. Is the treasure in the fourth mug? No, it's not. And I'm gonna put that little card in there too. So you won't pick that card out again. Now, because you managed to find the correct mug, even though you didn't win the treasure, you get another go. Right, let's see what this one says. This one says fifth. Okay. Now, which is the fifth? We're all finished that one. Are you gonna count? No, it's fine. So he has a little look, but I'm afraid You've picked the wrong mug there. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. You should have picked this mug. And because you've got it wrong, you picked the wrong mug, you don't get another go. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to finish there, Bob. But you watch how my youngest plays it. And if he keeps getting it right, he'll keep going until he wins. Right, Bob, you're gonna sit down. You've showed us how to play that. I'm gonna have to ask my youngest son, you need to go out of the room now while we hide the treasure again. Right, in you come, youngest son. Pick your first card. What does it say? Tenth. It does say tenth. Can you find the tenth mug? 
next one. Is it in there? Nope. No, but because you got the right mug, you get another go. So pick another card. No, that's the one before that. Actually, I don't think it is ninth because oh, that's there. So what six. does that say? It's six. Okay. And it's that one because I know it was that one ah. before. Is it under there? Nope. No, keep going then. Seventh. Off you go then. One up. Good. If we know this is the sixth, well, this must be the seventh. No. Nope. Was it in there? No. Keep going. Eighth, the one after that one. So this is the eighth. And oh, look, yeah. he's found the treasure. It was under the eighth mug. And so we have a winner. There's a simple game to keep practicing that your child knows what these ordinal number means, can find the right mug, and if they get it right, they get another go and eventually they'll find the treasure. Good luck and enjoy.